Okay, weight only is a one shot topics. Okay, we need to know what's the meaning of the weight. Okay, now you see one of the diagram, a man that lift the barbell then up. So from here they say a gravitational pull acting on the barbell. So contribute to the weight on the barbell. So why the barbell that got weight? Because we got called the gravitational pull. Remember the force we learned, gravitational force. So that one we feel it, they become heavier when you lift up because something they pull downwards. Then you are opposite the direction you want to lift up. So that's why you need to overcome the gravitational pull acting downwards. So from here, the weight on the barbell make difficult for the man to lift it. Because you lift is up. Then the weight is go downwards. So you need to overcome the weight. Okay, the barbell will drop to the ground with an acceleration. When you just release, then the barbell will drop. Then they drop, they go an acceleration. Then this one acceleration, we call it uh, gravitational acceleration. Uh, before that, we look uh, the free fall because of the gravitational acceleration. Okay, now we go see the Newton's second law of motion. Okay, remember before that we learned Newton law. Uh, we got three Newton law. Uh, one is related with the inertia. Okay, they will react for the each other. Okay, after that they do want to change the direction or change the motion. They want to continue unless they got external force. They want is a Newton first law. Second law is talking about F equal ma. Okay, directly proportional with the acceleration and also inversely proportional with the uh, the one mass. And the third one is the explosion. Uh, both objects, they will act to all the direction, but in opposite. Uh, all magnitude is the same, but in opposite direction. So we see the Newton second law, F equal ma. But for this one situation, we're talking about gravitational acceleration. So we change the A become the G. Okay, because it pulled by gravitational force. So from here, you can write W. W is a weight. Okay, weight also is a one form of the force. So from here, W equal mg. So we're going to see gravitational force acting on the bare bell. We call it as a weight. Okay, you can say in other words, gravitational force, actually the meaning is a weight. Lah. Okay, this one is the same meaning for these two words, W. So acceleration of the barbell is to fall. It's called gravitational acceleration. So when the barbell just lift, they will fall down. When they just fall down, this one, we call it, they fall by the acceleration. This one, acceleration, we call one name, gravitational acceleration. So there's a G. You also can mention this one, G, as a gravity. Okay? So W and also the G is a different thing, eh? not is the same. W is Newton force. Okay, gravity is a Newton per kg. Uh, different thing. These two totally is a different. Gravitational force is something to pull downwards. Acceleration is something pull downward, then the object fall down. Then the object fall down, acceleration. We call gravitational acceleration. Okay, so we introduce the W and also G. That's the differences. Okay, now we're going to see the characteristic for the weight. Okay, unit for the weight is a W. Newton, weight is a vector quantity. So the direction always is go downwards. Follow the gravitational force direction. Okay, toward the center of the earth. Then the formula for W is a W equal mg. Okay, G, W over m. So you want to find the G, that's a Newton per kilogram. Okay, so G and W is a different things. Okay, so this one is a formula for W, that's a weight. Okay, now we're going to see the physical quantity G is a gravitational field strength. Uh, just now I say, G is a gravitational acceleration. Uh, this one is the first name. Okay, second name, I told you G is a gravity. 
Okay. Third name I want to tell you the G, the name is this one. Gravitational field strength. Why are you using the gravitational field strength? Okay. When you're talking about weight equal mg. Now, when you're talking about this formula, g we never mention acceleration due to gravity. We also never mention there's a gravitational acceleration. Because I measure your weight, I never see you to fall down. You only measure the weight on the measurement scale. Okay? So we call it the pull by the gravitational force from the center of the earth. So the G now we call it gravitational field strength. Okay? The field strength gravity, they pull you. So that's why we're using the name is a different. When something just free fall, they fall by the acceleration we call gravitational acceleration. Suppose the name different, but the value is the same. 9.81. Okay? Just the name different only. Okay? So from here, gravitational field strength, there also is a G, is the force acting per unit mass. Okay, force acting per unit mass means what? W over mass. Okay, force acting per uh, W equal mg. Yeah. So you come from here. So you want to find the G, W over M. So they say force acting per unit mass caused by the gravitational pull. So this one, gravitational pull is a G, la, gravitational field strength. Okay, the earth gravitational field strength is how many? 9.81. So you can see the unit. They write Newton per kilogram. Okay, normally we write the G is what? 9.81 ms negative 2. Uh, this one is when you say about gravitational acceleration. Suppose the unit is the same one. If you change the kg ms negative 1, uh, change become this one. So I'm going to try to show you. Uh, Okay, Newton kg negative 1. Newton actually is a force. Force, remember, equal to ma. Suppose the unit is a kg ms negative 2. So when I just bring here, so you find it kg ms negative 2 multiply kg negative 1. So finally, I go to cancel. Cancel 1, uh, no cancel. Multiply this one and this one, then no more already. Kg negative 1 and Kg no more. Finally, you left Ms negative 2. Actually, same like the gravitational acceleration. So that means the G got three different names, but the value is the same. And also unit is the same. Okay, so the first thing we call gravitational acceleration. When something free fall, pull by the gravitational force. Number two, we call gravity. So gravity also almost same like the gravitational field strength. This one we use when they are measure the weight. W equal mg. So that one, the G, we call this name. Okay, how about the value? Value is the same, 9.81. You can mention ms negative 2 also can. You want to mention Newton per kilogram also can. Okay, so this one is a what's the meaning for the G? Okay, 9.81 Newton per kilogram, the meaning is what? 1 kg mass experiences gravity force is 9.81 Newton. So that means your body, 1 kg, pulled by the gravity, 9.81. So if your kg is more higher, that means you are pulled more of the gravity. That's a 9.81 multiply your, your mass. Lah. So finally, your weight increasing. So G is a fixed one, 9.81. So depend your mass only. If your mass bigger, so that means the weight you measure sure is a bigger. Okay? What situation 9.81 will change when you go other planet? Okay, if you go other planet, the planet is smaller than the Earth. Uh, the gravity sure is a less. Okay, gravity is a less, so your weight automatic become less. Okay, so this one is related with the uh the wait, uh, the explanation for the weight and also the gravitational acceleration gravitational field strength okay actually that's the same thing just using for the different situation then we're using the different name okay now we're going to show the next one okay mass and weight 
So we need to do the differences, mass and also the weight. Actually, what's the difference? Okay, first one. Mass is a quantity of matter. So I want you to memorize this one is a definition for the mass. Okay, because physics, every time they ask definition. So the first one, maybe they ask mass. What mean of the mass? So your answer is a quantity of matter in an object. So the keyword is a quantity of matter. Okay, what means of the weight? Weight is a gravitational force. Okay, there's a one type of the force. So the force name we call gravitational force. Okay, SI unit, measure is a kilogram, sir. Okay, weight is a newton. Okay, then the mass is a base quantities, derived quantities, scalar. Scalar means only magnitude. Okay, for the weight, it's got magnitude plus direction. Okay, this one can measure by triper beam balance. That means they can measure by gram, they can measure by kilogram, triper beam balance. But for the weight, only can measure by using the spring balance. So that means every time you measure 30 kilogram, 35 kilogram, your weight is how many? Actually, that one is never called weight. That one we call mass. Because to show you there's a kg. Okay, if you're using the spring balance to measure, they will show you the, the unit for the object you measure. There's an in newton. Okay, so this one's a difference, sir. And the last one is fixed. Your mass is always fixed in all places. I never say planet, I say places only. So that means you are 50 kilograms, you are in the school. Then you go back, your house also 50 kilograms. Okay? But the weight, okay, they can vary. Okay, for the different planet. Uh, this one, never mind. This one, planet also never mind. You go to moon, you go to sun, your mass always fixed. Okay, but the weight cannot. You go to, uh, for the earth, okay lah. Uh, you at the school, you go back, uh, it's the same one for your weight. But the problem is when they go different planet. Uh, so that means your weight will be changes. Okay, so important weight changes will be related with the gravitational. Uh, they want the gravity still straight. They want it depend for gravity. If you just less than 9.81, so your weight change already. If you more, they also changes. So your mass is always the same. Okay, so this one is the differences, mass, and also the weight. Okay, now we're going to see this one example. Huh? Okay, the mass of the astronaut, the suit for the Earth, 81.65 kilogram. Okay, we're going to measure what is the mass. We find it 81.65 kilograms. Okay, you want to find the weight, so you go to multiply the gravitational field strength of the Earth, 9.81. So I get it. The final answer for the weight is 800.99 Newton. Okay, now, the astronaut, the wear, the full suit, they go to the moon. Okay, when they just go to the moon, gravitational for the moon, 1 per 6, that means 6 times smaller than the Earth gravitational field strength. So there's a 1 over 6 multiplied 9.81. So the gravity very, very small. So the very, uh, gravity very, very small, that means you can find out your weight. The astronaut and also the suit must be less weight when you measure at the moon. So from here, we can get, just now you measure at the Earth, is it? You go to dy by 6. 6 times smaller. So you find it only 133.5 Newton. And you measure the same thing at the different planet. Okay, because the moon is smaller. So the uh, gravity then becomes smaller also. Okay, now we're going to see example one. Okay, this one from your exercise got. Lah. So we just go to complete this one question. Okay, so from here we're going to see the question 5 kg. Okay, ice cube, uh, the cube is a 5 kg at the earth. Lah. So I can write a uh, mass at the earth. That's a 5 kilograms. Okay, then after that, the uh, gravitational acceleration for the Earth, that means G for the Earth, is 9.81. Okay, gravitational acceleration at the moon, that's a 1.64. 
Okay, first question, what is the weight of the Q uh, on the earth? They want to find the weight for the earth. So we just write WE equal mg, is it? So G also E lah. So mass is how many? 5 kilograms. We just multiply 9.81. So we get the answer. Okay, this one in 4. So we get the answer. 5 multiply 9.81. So the answer is 49.5 Newton. Okay, 49.5 Newton when they measure at the earth. So they ask you, what is the mass okay, of the cube on the moon? Okay, so mass, the question asks mass, they never ask weight. So if they ask about the mass, actually it's unchanged. Okay. Unchanged. So we just write the answer is a five kilograms. That's an unchanged. Same like the mass at the earth. So what is the weight of the cube on the moon? So we're still using the same formula, but this one W is at the moon. Equal mass is unchanged. Then the gravity at the moon. Okay. So you just put in all the info. So we go to find the weight. Okay, W E equal 5 kg multiply 1.64. 1.64 is a moon gravity. Finally, I get it. They only got 8.2 Newton. Okay, when you just measure the cube at the moon. Okay, you see the force is quite smaller. Okay, six times smaller than uh, this one, the original. So if the question provided the moon, how many gravitational? So we just use. If the question never provide, then you just divide by six. Uh, normally, the question will tell you like, how many times smaller than the earth. When it just tell you that's a six times smaller than the earth, so you straightforward take 49.5 divide by six. So you can know the answer. Okay, if the question never mentioned, don't go to divide. Okay, must wait the question to tell you how many they are smaller. Okay, first question we finish. Then we go to.